about to film this intro real quick because don't feel like doing it right now but hey y'all welcome back to another episode this is the last part finally to this long ass conversation that we had at this table of the same video basically this is the last part so i just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this series if y'all been following along and i look forward to creating more videos and more podcasts and i also will be posting uh, another video that won't be a podcast y'all will see okay it's a fucking vlog there i had to say it like what else could it be but yeah i'm gonna start vlogging again too so i'll either post a podcast or a vlog and yeah so enjoy the video don't forget subscribe to my channel and yeah don't forget to leave a like and a comment because why not bye guys unprotected sex feels better that's all i'm saying are you talking about from an emotional point of view or no you? nigga just feeling just my <laughs> just how it feels like why are you trying to baby can you come sit in the <laughs> camera if you're gonna talk i don't like that you're not in the <laughs> frame they, they know who i am the audience loves me all right then come <laughs> show them you you wouldn't have a three marry a bisexual man i would but that also increases your chances of STD. Right. Yeah. But I don't really, I don't know. Actually, it doesn't. Really, now I'm really fucked up to say it truly doesn't. Like, if somebody respects you, they will not Like, I would marry a bisexual man, but if we're in it, like, I'm very, I'm not weak. Me too. Like, I still have a threesome, though, but I still have a threesome. Not to be a thing with one person, right? I say I would have a threesome, but then again, like, I don't want to have a threesome with someone who I don't know. Because I feel like afterwards, when we see each other, it's going to be weird. But then again, I don't want to do it with a stranger because I'm not going to feel comfortable. I've never really cared to have a threesome, honestly. <laughs> so I would rather probably do it with someone I know. It's just going to have to be weird. We should normalize bringing paperwork into the bedroom. Yes, and that's that's going to be, uh, that's going to be one thing for me. If you have an STD. If I look you dead in your fucking mouth and I'm like, hey nigga, pull out some papers, you should be like, oh, well, I gotta pull out papers. You, don't, you think I'm dirty? That's not a thing. And that's yeah. another thing, too. A lot of guys won't do that. Like, uh, no, I'm being real. A lot of guys still get offended. They're like, okay, well, before I have sex with you, can you, can you both get tested? They're like, what the fuck for what? What are you doing, right? Like, nigga, keep <laughs> me safe. What? That's just my thing. Is worth two bill? Yeah. I've been Um, being black in America. Tough. I've never faced any, uh, as far as I know, I've never faced any, uh, adversity. Yeah, because of my skin color. I've been told, are, are I've actually not? been told that I act more white just because I articulate better. Every, every black person experienced that. But the way, all right, the way I'm looking at it is like, are you experiencing subtle racism where it's like, Oh, like, like when somebody says, "Oh, you carry yourself really well for you know a black person," <laughs> that's still racist. <laughs> or you like, oh, you like you speak very well for you know somewhere from where you're from. That's still I racist. Just told that a lot. Yeah, nigga, that's racist. That's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Like, right, wow, you basically a black insulting. man can articulate his words. Right, that's... you're insulting that saying like, okay, that's so you're trying to just say black people can't speak. Probably like, oh, you have nice hair for a black girl. You're pretty for a black girl. You talk really well for a black girl. You're smart for a black girl. Right. Hey, all right, I have, I have a question. <laughs> how, how do you feel if, speaking of hair, makeup, and all that, as a woman, if a man was like, oh, I appreciate you in your natural state, how would that make you feel? It makes you feel good because you don't get that a lot. Hey, I remember that nigga T what? said it one time. That nigga T was like, my girl, not for the come out with a bonnet on her head. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, Right. I'll go out of my bonnet. I would prefer that because that means niggas not finna look at you with a bonnet you got sweatpants on. See, we can look. We can look. We can look. Uh, I already have a video. I'll just say this. If your wig fall off the middle of the set, I'm 100% putting that bitch on. Same thing with the bonnet. <laughs> Same thing with the bonnet. That bitch fall off, I'm putting it on. Bro, I can see David doing that shit. <laughs> Yeah. And he like, wouldn't even stop. I would bet I would bet a Then stroke that body is coming right off my fucking head. The, the wig is coming on, all of it. I don't give a fuck. Hey, this is what are you doing it for girl with I put that bitch on, it don't matter. Yeah, no, but you want to I don't really care, honestly. I'm more of like I care more about her body, honestly. I don't care about her uh, like looks as much. So are you are you more of a pleaser or is like you want to catch up that and leave? Depends on the person. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And it's like 
Uh, it's I like, frozen. if it's someone Just, that it's like, oh, hey, come over, I want some dick real quick. It'll be like, real quick? All right, I'm going to take real quick. It's just little terms, and it's going to be real quick. But if it's someone I'm truly involved with, four plays easy, like 30, 40 minutes, and it's like 10, 15. And then, like, <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's like it's a two-way street. It's a, no, nigga, trust me. You want to do you want to do that thing for? Four is very important though. You want to do that thing for the girl? For the girl? For the boy? For the boy too? No, because yeah. I can I can get bricked up like that and I'm ready. See that's different. <laughs> I'm ready. Let, let you, I'm ready. You gotta, you gotta get turned on. You gotta get wet. You should do it, it feels good. I would just feel like a bitch. You be doing that, Kayla? Yeah, I've slept on a dude's nipples before. And you like dudes? Yes, I used to do it. I'm not gonna lie, even though I've never been somebody that's fucking, I've done other things. That's what I'm saying. Four players for the girl. For me, like, don't be boring. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck Hell yeah. As long as I'm hitting your right, she's not gonna care. What are you asking? How about you gonna moan your girl here? Oh. Hell yeah. The only thing that matters is if you hit your girl. But girls like when you guys moan. It's more of a turn off for them, too. Alright. So do y'all talk during sex? Do y'all think it's easy? I love having jokes in the middle of sex. I love it. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's like a small day. This is so fucking funny. Because it would be like, it's like, especially if it's somebody you like truly like in bed with and like constantly. So you must be the people you have sex with, y'all are like real comfortable with each other. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, that's cool. So it's like, and it's not like, all right, not to be weird, like if we had sex, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know, like crack jokes, or like, it's just been like, all right, we're here for one thing and one thing only. But I if, like, if, we're, after me, if we're having not sex, if we're having sex like 30, 40 times a month type shit, I am cracking jokes every day. This is just funny to me. It's like, it's like, I know my sexual is not that fucking hot. It's not fucking hot. That means you have lots of stuff. No, fuck it, they're not. It's to me not investments in other things. But as a man, as a man, you watch porn though. I know you watch porn. That's another thing. No, I don't want this. You already know your business. Believe it or not, you said so much stuff already. You know Believe it or not, as a man, when you sit there getting off to a screen, that's bad for your. That's but do you guys watch porn? I've watched porn before. Right. I don't watch porn so, before. We all have. What I'm affects saying, right. What affects your duration? I have noticed like you get a chance to take some pre workout before you have sex. I've heard yeah, that, that shit. Is I heard it's not good for you though. Like your body, yeah, I heard it's good for you like in the moment. But the thing is like any type of modification during sex, your body would expect the same thing and it take a lot more for you to get off. So yes, it is very bad long run. But not if I so is that only for guys? guys? No, it's for women too. So like, let's say you like doing shrooms or like cocaine or like smoking weed before you have sex, you won't be able to get off unless you're in that state. So she would have to be like, so- Okay, she, you say so you're smoking. It's like you're training your brain to only get off. Yeah, so it's like, if we can take it, like, let's take it out of that. You can really train your body. Let's say if you lay in your bed, you're constantly eating your bed, it'll disassociate your bed from sleep and to eating. So if you're laying in your bed and you're constantly eating your bed, your body will trigger something to being hungry and because it expects food. So wow. if I'm constantly having sex high, that means I can't know sober. It can lead into that. It's not the same for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like being sober, it, it would be sense. Now, I can't say being like drunk sex, high sex, based on who you are, it can be better. It is better. Alcohol and weed enhances the experience. Yeah, that's like yeah. yeah. what I'm saying here is. Don't do it every time. Nah, yeah, for sure. Of course not. Sure. Sure. But I wasn't that ass about watching porn though with your sex drive. It does, yeah. Cause it's like you're constantly masturbating and you don't just like if you masturbate a lot, your duration will definitely degenerate. If you uh you can't get uh erected like Oh yeah, you will suffer from your eating. erection will be less than the weaker. Porn is a thing. So when you guys have sex, you guys um with his mother finish or do you just care about getting your nut out? Nah, I make sure she finished first. And then you finish? Yeah. I can't yeah. I can't have sex without getting finished. I can't I can't just I do can't. It and then finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't I'm do that. <laughs> nah, cause like with me, like I just I don't know, I'm kind of a pleaser, like I'm not nice. just, yeah. and it's like it's very weird to me since like being a very two-way street, like you have to 
People need to understand coercion is a form of rape. Yes. What did you say? Coercion. What is coercion? Like if I was laying you in bed, I was like, oh, you know, let me do this real quick, you're gonna enjoy it. Like I, you said no the first time, but I persuaded you into doing it. And you keep touching me to like turn me on. So I go to you. You know how many times that happens to girls? I can Every literally, day. I would be rich. I would be rich. I know what you mean, but it's, it's still consensual. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because it's, 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 you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna get caught. Stop right there. You said no the first time. That means they did not want to. But of course, if you're touching me and you're making me feel good and you keep adding it on, listen, because this happens to a girl's eye. This happens to me, so I can tell you, like, why we came in. If you're constantly agging it on, or if I say no and you're just like acting different, like you're not cuddling on me anymore, or you're you're not acting the same way you were acting just two seconds ago, I'm gonna start feeling insecure about myself or start feeling bad. And it's not a good thing, and I shouldn't do that, but it's just naturally how I And another thing, and then like, you think is like, is this person in bed? We just have sex, or they truly right. here because they want to be here? And like another They're thing exactly. too, like sometimes if you don't say yes, they will get physically abusive. Uh, they will be like, you know what the fuck? They do it. Right. Yeah, women get murdered all the time for yeah. saying no. Right, for saying no. I, shoot, sometimes I'll be like, okay, give them a fake number right now, because I know I never see them again. I'm not gonna lie, the time period we're in now, Ted Bundy would have a fucking feel of it. He would have a feel of it. I would fucking throw up. Have a, you know, would you throw heard about that up. guy? That's going around killing women in Atlanta? Yeah, it's happening right now. Yeah, it's there, happening there, now. There's, there's it's a, going uh, around just killing people. Yeah. There's, there's, a serial killer, there's a serial killer going on in Kansas on Radio right now, and then one in Atlanta right now. That's... Yeah, and and he's, off. he's like oh. cutting women's boobs and shit off. And I'm like, why the fuck is that he that hurt? doing that? Yeah, that kind of makes me feel like... No, no, it's so Like, I feel like... What, getting it? Yeah. Oh, yes. It is. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about a man with a belly button piercing or a tongue piercing? I don't give a fuck. Do whatever they makes like you to paint their nails, they definitely wouldn't care if you had a belly button piercing. Okay. You can get matching ones. <laughs> I wouldn't care if you I wouldn't care if you had a nipple piercing. Stuff. That actually would be kind of cute. I know, that would be kind of cute. I think it's kind of cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you have a nipple piercing? Yeah. That's cute. That is cute. Who says it has something to be for girls? I wouldn't get my hands prepared to tell you that I did that shit. I thought about it and it still might happen, but I'm not mentally prepared for that shit right now. You have to adapt to change though, Chris. It's gonna constantly happen. You have to adapt to change. But I do want to say something about how we're talking about having being masculine and being feminine. I feel like you have to have a balance. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Not just males, not just females. Everyone supposed to have a balance of being masculine and being feminine. Like, I mean, if that's what you're supposed to have. That way you understand. That way you understand, like, you just, you're more open versus just being feminine or just being mas so masculine. You have to have an equal balance of both. Like, I'm very much in touch with my masculine. Hell yeah. I'm very much in touch with I agree. I love feminine. That was me too. I like when men can be feminine because it shows that you can be you're not afraid. The man is too feminine, does that turn you off? Yes, it does turn me off. So what is what crosses the line for y'all that's too feminine? Because y'all like making crop tops and nails. I mean, that's that's like basically like the way they dress, the way they style themselves. Like diversity in wardrobe is very important. Right. It's. Very, like, I can't date a guy who's always wearing ripped jeans and a black t-shirt with a gold chain. Like, There's a lot of you. Uh, the way, the way <laughs> you're supposed to look. Like, you, like, if you have that community done first, then your fashion, you're very much a fashion person. But if you're like, well, girl, let me tell you about my outfits, right? Like, can gossip, easy, they can gossip. These days. Right. Like, have you ever, like, I know when guys are on the game, they gossip. Like, they gossip. Really? I know they be talking shit. They, because one of my guy friends, like, one of the guys, his um, game had liked me. And I was like, no, I don't like you like that. And so he was like, all right, I'm going to just sit you here and listen to your conversation. They be talking shit. I'm like, <laughs> 
I'm like, all this hell is going on? Niggas be getting mad, right? They be getting mad. Like, nah, uh, what? I'm glad you feel so proudly of yourself, but right. please, lower it down. Like, I'm like, like that's, that's the thing, like, y'all look at everything from a... No, I ain't gonna lie, I see what you can, like, when niggas take rejection, like, niggas shut up and just take the L and bite right, it. They, right, I'm not, I'm not talking right. about that, I'm just talking about niggas. Like, like, I'm talking right. about niggas on the game, like, like, if they're on the game, it's clearly not serious. I... Like me, if I'm with my niggas, I can act ignorant as fuck, cuss them niggas out and do it. It doesn't mean mm-hmm. anything. We just being niggas. But like with girls, y'all like think that, oh my god, like y'all are so like no, it's not even that deep. It's just we just being yeah, niggas. Yeah, if a man calls me a bitch, I'm gonna take it deep. I didn't know it was my fucking bitch. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about yeah, niggas on the game. You're not talking about nothing, niggas on. The, we know niggas be on the game just goofing right. around, goofing around, around, but like. Shit, but. Like, you start being disrespectful. Right, like, Jack and Mike's name is dirty. Like, I'm just going to get what I'm trying to say in the nicest way. Like, why are you getting butt hurt about it? I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to see. Obviously, you got some personal problems going on between you and yourself that you need to work on. Because your baby is a fraud. Toxic niggas are toxic. You know what I mean? Like, does that mean which is worse? Yep. To be honest, I feel like it can go either way. Yeah. What are you considering toxicity? I think it's toxic. You know that you're bad for a person and you don't need to be that person's life, but you still still continue to do it for your selfish pleasures. Yeah, that's toxic. <laughs> Literally. Uh, At least you can admit, the real question is how you're going to work on it. Right. Uh, <laughs> so no, I haven't heard. Uh, Where did you watch your uh, age? Yeah. I don't think you're alive yet. What the fuck, so David? Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, um, what? I'm gonna say, 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 I'm how was it? I was 16. The worst experience in my life. Yeah, my first time wasn't that good either. Just because. Uh, it's like, I'm not, I'm not racist. <laughs> I believe I'm with that. But look to a white girl, and I regret the fuck out of that. Like, it's just like. I've never been like, white girl. I wanted, ever. like. <laughs> to be something to a friend. Like, the idea, I don't, at this age of my life, I do not see myself being with anybody that's. Not, not a white girl. Of course, yeah, that's dope. And it's like, it's not like, oh, I don't fuck any other race. It's just like, raising a child with them. I don't want them understanding like, oh, I'm doing it with this child. How do I raise this child? How do I take them out in public? Like, no, like. What do you mean? So it's like, let's say I have a white, uh, like a white wife. Right. And my child's like fucking my skin complexion. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, right. that's what I'm going to look. Right? Yeah. What was the sense of business? That's true. But it's like, how is she going to, how is she going to handle that internally? Well, I would rather you have the most part, 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 part racial kids though. I would rather right. have a black wife who can take care of her child, raise her child to be black in a black world. That's a world that's not black. Understandable. Child. That's so understandable. Like, that's a better, better reason behind it. So you. I would rather deal with that than explain to my wife why this is wrong, why my child should stand up for himself, and I don't want my child riding a fence. Mm-hmm. As she like the way we were talking about code switching earlier, is my child code switching to fit in a certain situation, or the code switching to get rid of a certain part of him? Like, high, sorry, high. yeah, like is my child like, oh, I only recognize my white self or my black self? No, I want my child to be hundred percent black and understand who they are, and I don't want my wife like, I don't know how to deal with. Black trouble. I don't think. Is that, is that like a common issue with white women raising black kids? Yes, yes it is. No, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you for sure. If you have a mixed race couple, you can tell when their mama is black. Their hair is probably done. Very you can well. tell. Yeah. It, not a lot of white hair. hair. Their personality, period. You can tell. <laughs> so I can tell. But no. like, if the mama is black or white. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I don't respect a mixed coupling or anything like that. It's just what I want at the end of the day. Right. I just want my child to understand who they really are. 
I don't want any confrontation of my child losing himself down the road. For the most biracial kids, even if, I think like, who's to black. say that still can't happen, even if you have a black I would be able to relate to my child. My wife would be able to relate to my child. I would be able to answer his questions better than anybody else. That's my child. So if I have a mixed racial child and he comes to me and like, why don't my white friends like me? I can't answer that. To an extent, my white wife can probably answer it, but if my, uh, me, if I have a black child with a black woman, and they come to me like, hey, why does my white child, like, why don't my white friends like me? I can answer that off rip. I don't think it's that deep. It is. No, no, most no. biracial kids identify as black. All right, listen to all these lyrics. And they got all, like, if you release 100 songs, 99 of them are about him being mixed. Yeah, a lot of mixed people do struggle with their identity yeah, they because they, they're so busy fighting between am I white or black instead of accepting the fact I am white and black. I can be both of these things yeah, they, I can accept both worlds. And then like being raised in a predominantly quote quote area, it, it makes it worse. Yep, right. So it's like if I have a mixed racial child in a predominantly white area, it's my child of selling course, out. Right, the more they're going to be more insecure like, about being black yeah. versus vice versa versus they're 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 black. black. To them, but that's, it's always going to be like that for people who are both because even if you put them in a environment where there are mostly black kids around and they're, they're still going to start shutting like I don't want to say their white side, but like, yeah, they're, I don't they want are. them to. I don't want them to denounce their white side. I just don't want them to understand who they truly are at the end of the day. Like a punit square, a punit square will show you the truth at the end of the day. My nigga, my nigga, like, a punit square. Punit. P U N E T T. Punit. Okay. <laughs> but it's a square. <laughs> at the end of the day, like. But at the end of the day, you're a product of your environment. So you can raise a black kid in a white community. He, like, right. what's the problem? How long is the child in school? Mm-hmm. What, seven hours? Mm-hmm. How long am I with that child? Not that very long, but besides me getting sleep, dinner, me being at work, okay. I don't have that long to raise that child. My point here is, you're not a part of the environment. That child is going to accept when you go to school. That's his environment. You are a part of your environment to an extent. That's you his are. environment. School is part of his environment. That's what I'm saying. But the right. thing is, maybe you're looking at mother versus nature. I mean, uh, nurture versus nature. So what I'm that's saying That's a big, here, that's a big debate right there. What I'm saying here is, is like, you're a part of your environment, but how much influence will I have on my child at the end of the day? You can't let your environment control you. You can let it, like, that's where you come from, of course, but you can't let that just be you, all of you, like, your environment. I grew, up, I grew up with a lot of blood, but it's like, it's just not what I fell into. Like, I hung out with them, but it's just like, that ain't shit just wasn't for me. Like, happens. Like, I went to a predominantly white high school, and it was a race of this shit, I don't fuck with white people, I went to Model State, predominantly white high school, I was there for, uh, I mean, college, I was there for purely for college experience, and then, you know, I think I came out pretty okay. Yeah. A lot of people probably say no otherwise, but, you know, here I am, Bobby, but, you're proud of your environment, that shit ain't real, bro, like, you, you do what you can with life. And I think that's a great way to close this podcast out. Um, She's just tired. It's eleven o'clock. We're trying to go fuck home, but yeah, it's getting late, you guys. But um, thank you if you guys enjoyed this podcast. That was pretty good. That was a lot of good topics to talk about. If it was interesting, you know, I should put the subscribe button. It's going on YouTube. Yeah, it's going on YouTube and Spotify. So if you guys like that, go ahead and um, subscribe to the button. And then, yeah, keep watching the shit happens podcast. I will be making a return because I'm probably the most interesting person. Yeah, you guys will see their faces again if they want. Yeah, see you guys next one. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Want to say bye, Chris?